some some kind of animatic here. I'm not doing it now. Instead, I am going to start cutting fabric. Because that's what we're here to see, ladies and gentlemen. The fabric. Should I iron this? Yes. Am I going to? We don't know. We're gonna talk about things and maybe make some things too. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. As always, you can call me Lore, and you know how my intro goes, I'm gonna talk about things and maybe make some things too. Well, it's time for me to make some things too, so let's get into it. So if you've been following my LARP journey or if you saw the last video, you'll know that I'm preparing for my next LARP, Starfall Academy, which is in a little bit more than a month. And I'm just starting to sew now. It's fun. Yeah, I haven't sewn in a couple of months, probably, definitely not since we've moved and probably not since Shiretown Shindig, so a decent amount of months, so I'm gonna be a little rusty. I was going to do a little um, casual project and make a spring dress, which is what you see here on this dress form, but I kinda had to take a pause. I mean, we're a month out, so I want to make sure that I give myself enough time, and also I kind of, I need to redo the bodice. If you're a seamstress, you can probably see exactly what the issue is here. If you're not, it's beautiful and I love it. Don't even worry about it. The fabric's beautiful, everything's great. We're just gonna take out a few things and move on. Anyway, so Starfall Academy is a four day event and I have designed four outfits for it. Now you may be thinking, Laura, you're so smart, that makes so sense, an outfit for every day. So really what I say it's four days, it's actually two and a half days of actually in character time. So I'm making four outfits for two and a half days and one outfit is only for one night, you know? But here we are. There's been a couple of things that have made this design process really interesting. Uh, the first being Starfall has its own costume requirements. The biggest of which and the most interesting and restrictive being that all the costumes have to be in a neutral tone. There can't be pinks, there can't be blues, there can't be purples, or if they are they have to be very very muted. And the reason for this is because we are initiates coming into our first year of the order. We don't actually find out or most of us don't actually find out what order we are in until that first night where we go through a ceremony that places us in the sect. With a C. Sect? Does that sound right? I can't set. Is that how you pronounce it? Sect? Sect. That one. That one. With the C. That is completely appropriate. Yeah. So we won't know which sect we're in until that first night. Each sect has a color attached to it, and so you don't want to be repping a different color from the sect that you are in. That will be odd and awkward. So very, very neutral color palette, which is normally fine. I generally tend to gravitate towards beiges and browns for my characters, but I do love to add a pop of color. So can't do that really. Um, so it's just been an interesting exercise trying to work around. I've gotten some fabric. I hope it's going to work for me. I'm kind of playing it loose, fast and loose right now. So we'll see. The second is that I have chosen to play a race with some interesting makeup requirements. I won't go too into it, don't want to spoil anything, but I do have to be careful with clothes and the makeup. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Lastly, because this is a martial arts focused LARP, I really had to make sure that these outfits are something that I can wear and be comfortable in while moving around because there's going to be plenty of that and I'm not necessarily already the most coordinated thing out there, so I shouldn't make it more difficult for me to exist. I do really want to make sure that all of the clothing is functional, is movable, is comfortable, which when you're a cosplayer growing up is not always normally the first thing you sacrifice. So I re I re <laughs> I've been getting better at it recently, getting older and now with making live characters. Like Neves I think did pretty well, um, but 
Gotta make it functional. So, uh, so, so without further ado, let's sew. Alrighty, well, welcome to the next segment, Lore on the Floor, where I get to activate gremlin mode and shatter all illusions that I live in a space larger than a shoebox. So, today I figured that I would start with the pants. Um, I have this nice white gauze fabric that I really like for the texture, um, and I thought that would be really nice for the kind of guardian vibe that we're going for. Um, despite uh, my recent failures with the bodice of that dress, I am not going to be making a mock-up of these pants because I'm silly. It is pretty simple. I have drawn it out and kind of made the calculations um, for calculations for um, the distance, for the lengths and things that should work out fine. It's pretty similar to how I made new skirts with the front and back ties and let me show you. needs to be 12. My math is wrong. I doubled everything so that would have been very sad if I had wasted all that fabric. So the more you know. So welcome back, though I guess it's not really a welcome back for you, but it's day two of sewing for Starfall. So I finished my pants, which two days ago, which is when I started this recording, and I, I really love them. They're very cute and they're very swishy. Um, we're not having a mock-up. I think they turned out pretty well. So very excited about that. So today we are going to be working on the top for this outfit. This is, I guess, the main class outfit or one of the class outfits. Um, so I have this fabric right here. It's this kind of linen look fabric that has a really cool grain to it. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, kind of, I don't know. But uh, very excited. Uh, the way I'm designing these is to be, like, and you saw with Neve, and, and I talked about it a little bit with these pants, but I like, everything to be able to be worn different ways or to be like adjustable i don't want to just make like i don't know one thing and kind of sell it like by myself or bind myself strictly to it so i'm getting a lot of i'm getting really modular with this um outfit also it feels like that would fit the character more so so this top no to a drawing board Okay, so how I plan this one out is it's kind of going to be a wrap top. It seems very popular. I really like this, the kind of aesthetic that it gave, felt very guardian-y. Um, and so I was seeing a lot of patterns or a lot of modular DIYs for it that kind of made it out of a pashmina or a triangle scarf. Um, so I am not really needing that extra 
triangle bit at the top, so I'm just gonna cut that off. Um, and then, so it's gonna be a trapezoid, is what that shape is. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, this one I am gonna mock up because I really like this fabric and I also don't know if I need it for another top or another piece of the pattern, so I want to like use as little as possible. But I didn't really get a lot, I'm probably gonna have to go back to a fabric store anyway, but we do what we can. Um, so, let's go! Alright, so hello, yeah, it's been a couple of hours since I last checked in and uh, you know sometimes things don't work out. So this was supposed to be this trapezoid thing and it just doesn't fit exactly how I want it to, uh, which is, you know, it's a bummer, but we persevere. That's why you make mock-ups before you cut in the beautiful fabric. So I found some patterns online um, that I'm able to like kind of visualize what the shapes should be a little bit more. So I'm gonna throw it on the dress form, do some draping, do some patterning that way, and then try it again. All right. Okay, so hello. I'm gonna apologize in advance for the audio quality because, yeah, so it's a beautiful rainy day in New York. Uh, and since I last recorded, I finished the top. It was too hot to record and so, and focus on too many things. So I just banged it out without actually recording any clips. So, yeah. um, but today I need to get some more fabric. So I need to go to Joanne's and yeah okay so unfortunately it's not feasible for me to really go to like new york city and go to the fabric district every time i want fabric so joanne's is just what's gonna have to do me today so the last pieces that i need i need a top a bottoms a dress for one of the um cla class outfits and then my formal outfit still to do. So, a four day weekend, finally, thank God, because I've been working last weekend. I didn't really have a weekend, so I think I finished that top like two weeks ago. So it's gonna be really nice to be able to just relax and sew all weekend and let's go. I can't go to Joanne's without getting sweets because I have a massive sweet tooth. But anyway, so I got a bunch of fabric. I had some really lovely interactions and a uh, pleasant day. It is downpouring now, so it'll be fun to try to get this fabric back into my apartment without it being sopping wet. I did bring an umbrella, not to Joanne's, but I have it in the car, so. Here we go. One more thing. I thought I was gonna go to the thrift store and then I decided it's kind of far. It's like like 10-15 minutes down the road and 
I'm feeling lazy today. Um, it is raining, so maybe I want some ramen, which means I should go to the grocery store and pick up eggs. So I may do that. And then so. Oh, okay. So I am back from the Joanne's trip. I've now had my rainy day ramen treat and I'm ready to start sewing. So I got a bunch of different fabric that I hope will be all the fabric that I'll need for all of my projects going forward. I also got some patterns because it was Memorial Day weekend so they were having a bunch of sales and Simplicity patterns were $2. I have a bad tendency of getting patterns and I have an entire like bookshelf shelf full of patterns and I don't tend to use them. I actually end up patterning myself. not. That it's better not that i'm better at it i just for some reason there's something in my brain that says that is what i need to be doing um, but i tend to buy patterns as like reference points um so i can kind of get an idea of the shape of things i don't know so what i want to get done today is um a wrap top it's a little bit different than what i had originally envisioned for my casual top um, for this character, but I decided to kind of change it up a little bit. It is a wrap top. I love when things close by ties. So it's, I believe it was really popular in the 50s, and so it's pretty much exactly like how I did the pants where you tie the back and then you tie the front together, except you do that with the bottom of the shirt. So I'm kind of excited. What I didn't expect to find, I, I planned to just kind of pattern it from guessing i don't know from measurements and stuff like that but i ended up when i was at joann's i found this pattern which is pretty much exactly what i'm going to use now i may not actually use the pattern i may just use the little um first sheet just to kind of give myself a concept of what i actually want um but i have this now Ugh, it's 40s not 50s it says it right there it says 1940s vintage not 1950s don't listen to me uh i am fast let's sew Okay, so I've made some progress on the shirt, on this tunicky situation. I think it's really cute. It's very wide, um, but let's see what it looks like on. Okay, so the concept is there. I wish you could see it a little better, um, but it's obviously a little bit too long. This shouldn't be um, super hangy like this. And also I had to kind of like fold it up so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack this here pretty much. So then we have the shape that I'm looking for on both sides. And that will pretty much be it. So I think that will pretty much give me what I'm looking for. And then I have to put the, um, I can't think of what this is called, but the thing to make this nice and pretty and then also the collar. And then I should be done. So. Let's get back to sewing. Okay, so hello, I'm back. It's the end of day three and this is what we've made. I think it's really, really cute. Um, I, I don't always do really well with collars, so I'm really excited at how this kind of turned out. Uh, I'm probably going to want some kind of closure up here, um, just to keep that closed and give it that kind of look. Uh, but otherwise, I'm really, really pleased. I'm going to have to find some fun way to tie this. I don't know if I probably won't stick with this. This isn't very festive. Um, but yes, that's my second top. So I have two tops completed and one pair of pants. So I need to complete another pair of pants. Um, another one of another like 
easy kind of like amorphous dress thing that is also going to be worn to class and then the formal outfit which I'm going to leave for last because I want to go all out on that so this has been really fun just look do a little twirl I'm really happy so it feels like a very productive day I probably won't start anything else today because I am tired uh, so thank you and See you tomorrow. <laughs> you just woke up? Yeah? How you doing? I see. Well, hello there. Yeah, I actually, I'm honestly not really sure where I am in this video anymore. So I've done the first shirt, I've done pants, not in that order, and I've done another shirt and I just finished my second pair of pants. It is truly hot. It is Satan something right now. Uh, and so my brain is a little frazzled. I probably look haggard and tired over the course of this video. Um, but yeah, I have four pieces of two four pieces that comprise two outfits out of the four outfits that I'm bringing so two outfits pretty much pretty much completely done unless I add like seven million accessories which of course I'm bound to do but what I'm hoping to do today I'm hoping to finish to start and finish today is my second class outfit which will be this kind of wrap dress I'm finding this project really really fun because it's <laughs> it's just Shades of Beige as my ensemble, which I mean, it's fine. It's just, it's interesting. I just feel like I'm continuously sewing the same color and it, I think they're looking okay together. It's not all the same color and they're different textures. So hopefully that will bring out the kind of depth to the um, outfits and things like that. We'll see. I think also with the makeup and all of that together, it'll make them really come together. But I think I like where I am right now. Anyway, so for today, wrap dress. Let's do it. So sometimes you say you're going to make a mock-up and what you actually do is cut out uh, half of the pattern, don't even pin it together, decide eh, that's probably going to work and then you just kind of go for it. So that's, that's what's happening here. Yeah. <laughs> don't judge me. For the next one, for the next one, like the formal outfit, I'm definitely going to make a full mock-up. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. So, make mock-ups.
cool now i'm back actually back light everything beautiful okay so since i've been gone um which is no time to you because this is how a video works i have finished my last um class outfit or dress situation and guess what it's also beige i decided to use these two different fabrics just to give it just to break up the color a little bit so i have this like little strip of white i'm not really gonna show you i'm gonna leave it for a reveal keep it all nice and hush hush but um i'll tell you i am really living for mandarin college collars right now like and I used to have such an issue with collars for no reason they're not difficult all you have to do is like I don't know measure and be correct in your measurements which I guess that is the issue for me anyway so last thing I have to do is the formal outfit which is kind of daunting because I need to pattern do the whole thing and it's gonna be really fancy. Um, I also have some like last minute additions. Like I need to add some closures to these as well to all the things that I've done before. Like that I haven't done like ankle closures and little mandarin collar like poops. So everything is nice and flat. Um, but I'm a little daunted by the formal outfit because of the mock-up and everything that could go wrong and the fabric's so pretty and I just want everything to look nice. So. I think I'm kind of dragging my feet with that. Either I'll do that today or I'll end up doing some accessories because I need to do things like my wig <laughs> and solidify a makeup, which I'm not going to do in this video, but lots of things. Starfall is only three weeks out at this point. Uh, it's really ticking by. Time is really ticking by. It's really hard to work on weekdays because my work really exhausts me. So. Weekends are really, really when I get to do this, which means that I have very, very select few amount of days that I can do this, and filming it makes it a little more interesting. So. The next day. Hello. Uh, same shirt, new day, but you really didn't need to know that. Um, so, yesterday, I. What did I do yesterday? Yesterday, I started doing something I just remembered, which is why I restarted. Okay, started, like I was looking at some of my pieces and I was like, I feel like there needs to be something else for this outfit. So I decided to get a little more extra instead of progressing um, with what I was currently doing. So I was really just trying to find a way to procrastinate by being extra, which is just the theme for my life. Um, but what happened is that I ran out of white thread. Uh, so that kind of halted me and I didn't really have time to go out before my D&D game yesterday So I was like, I'll do it this morning. However, comma, it is 7 o'clock right now. Joanne's is not open until 9 So I have to do something for two hours. So what I'll do is I'll start finally patterning my formal outfit that I've been putting off every opportunity I possibly could um, And then we will run out to Joanne's get some thread and continue on trucking. So Okay, so for this outfit or this formal situation, um, what I am going to do is pretty much is going to be kind of like a um, loosely based off of a uh, kipao, which is a Chinese national dress where they have a um, it has a mandarin collar, um, and then it comes down and it normally cuts over this way. I'm going to do it slightly different because I don't really want to make it a kipao. I just want to make it. I just love a lot of the design elements from it. Um, so I've been play looking at a couple of different um, ideas and playing around with a couple things. So I'm just gonna kinda vibe with Vivi and see where we go, all right? And if I haven't introduced her, this is V, which is weird, because so is my significant other. This was not planned. I named her first.
Okay. So this is pretty much what it's looking like. Um, I like to pattern in this really cheap yellow fabric because I have it from like my early cosplay days. I don't know what I was going to make out of it, but I bought way too much. So don't really use it as like my scrap fabric. It's just like a broad cloth. Um, and I care nothing about it. So it makes a great being fabric it's a pretty lightweight so cool um <laughs> i never have enough of it though because i haven't bought any more in like years so i should really do that i won't be doing that today but i should so it's a little janky in parts you can't even see it's not long enough and this that and other thing so i'll have to do this transfer it to like i probably will do it directly to fabric but we'll measure out everything um just to double check that i have things correct since this is like my seams don't meet and things like that. Um, and, and also, when I did this, I didn't account for seam allowance at all, which isn't bad or hard. I sometimes have a problem where I'll account for it at some places and not in others, and that messes me up. So today I just didn't do it anyway, so I just know I have to add 5 eighths and inch everywhere around, and I've been sewing for a long enough time that I can pretty much eye that. Um, also, I'll add 5 8 inch and really just sew it a half an inch, so I'm really inconsistent and great. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much where this is looking like now. It is almost 9 o'clock, so I'm going to get changed and get ready to go out to Joanne's um, and hop on to another thing and then come back to this. But I think I like where it is. This is an interesting kind of seam here. Um, It'll be hopefully interesting. I'm debating whether or not I want to get a different type of fabric than the one that I have for the main dress, like add a texture difference. Um, I'm also going to have an over shawl thing, so I don't know if it really matters, but um, I guess I'll kind of make those decisions as I go because that's the way that I do life. Cool. Does anybody else have the intrusive thoughts that when their microphone cord is right next to their scissors, they just want to snip it it's really expensive i really shouldn't do it let me just move these away okay so ready to go to joann's i'm looking for thread and that's it maybe i'll get buttons but i really shouldn't thread i'm gonna stay on task for just thread okay so got their hands got they're having a sale so I got more thread more thread than I need for this project which is good though because I feel like I'm always running out of thread um, and we got buttons as well they were needed and we got sweets as as one does um, so soft and ready to keep going let's go okay so yay it's been a week um, since probably the last time I recorded, I think. Um, but for all intents and purposes of this video, I'm sure it's like day 798, so that's really great. Uh, but this morning, I kind of, I cut out the mock-up, um, and, you know, it's pretty cute. Uh, you'll see that it's a lot of, it's really unfinished up here, and that's because I haven't quite decided how I'm getting into this dress. Um, I have a zipper. I'm thinking about putting like an invisible zipper along the side and then doing some kind of I don't know up here because I have this like interesting little separation detail. Um, but what it's all to, oh, I just dropped a pin. That's gonna stab me later. Um, but the way it is right now, I'm really happy with kind of what this cut will end up looking like when it is finished. Um, I'm gonna have to do some kind of probably hook and eye situation. Which seems really tedious, but I don't know, I kind of like like getting into it and then putting it over my shoulders and it's very, very weird and I feel like I'm like, um, popping out like an alien in Aliens. But, you know, closures will happen as they happen. I really haven't actually put closures on like most of the things that need closures, so that's good. Um, but, yeah, this is what it's looking like. It's very cute. Um, and so the next step, I have a couple errands to run this morning before I work, continue working on this, but all that's left is to really do this in fabric. Well, 
So we'll see how that goes. Um, all of my other outfits I'm really really happy with. I decided to add some like weird sleeves to one of them and I think it's coming together which is good since Starfall is like two weeks away. And who knows when this video will come out but as of now Starfall is two weeks away and I'm just finishing my last outfit so that's probably good time. That's fine time. I still need to do some character work and I still need to work on my character makeup but at least we'll have clothing. We're done! We did it! It's- you saw them! You did a lot- got a little costume and character reveal in there. So hello, this is Rohi. This is the character I wore to Starfall and I pretend like I did this before I went to Starfall but we both know I didn't. So I love- I love all the costumes. I love them so much. I think they came out so well. I can't even fathom what I would change about them since I changed so much while I was making them. Um, but definitely improvements could be made all around make mock-ups but I mean look at these sleeves how, how can you argue with these sleeves extra <sighs> procrastination does pay off uh, anyway well thank you so much for watching this video I had so much fun making it it's a lot I've never filmed myself sewing before so it was really a journey um, to do so I'm sorry I kind of fell off at the end there but I'm sorry that this video is so long I should not try to cram four outfits four outfits into one video. That's a lot. So, notes for the future. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching this video. And if you, hope to if you happen to like it, consider pressing the like button down below if you want to see more of my costuming or LARPing or whatever I decide to do next journey. Consider pressing the subscribe button as well. All right, bye. No. Oh. Oh, there you go. I'm not gonna panic. Panicking slightly. I'll probably do something. I hammer or ham ha, hammer. Yeah. Ha, I work. I chip away. Chip away is what I want. A different tool. Chip away. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's getting warm, and it's really hot in this apartment. So it looks like I'm not wearing a lot because it is really hot. Let me just share one nugget of worldly wisdom with you. Don't wear white when it's downpouring. Sex. Sex with a C. Sex with a C. Sex. I can't say that word and not make it not sound like what I'm not trying to say. You get it, right? Right? Welcome to the next segment. More on the floor! Which I will 
not do anything except put my arms out and in and then out and then in and then out and then in. Ugh. Because I love when things close by ties instead of zippers and any other closures. I don't know if I'm lazy or creative. I don't think it's that one, so we'll see. Um, that's my cat. Bree, you can't sit right next to the tripod. Bree? Bree? Don't get irritated at me.